check this out. Guys, who has a morning routine and who has failed at their morning routine before? Welcome to Digital Genius Radio, the number one podcast focused on guiding you to becoming a certified digital genius. We believe you can have it all by mastering social media paid advertising. We spent the last three years studying the most brilliant marketers today and applying their techniques. We've broken free of the nine to five and successfully built a seven figure online certification platform. From working with hundreds of clients, we found that most are overwhelmed or scared to actually dive into paid advertising. And this podcast is here to give you the cheat codes so you can flourish with your social media channels. Join us and follow along as we continue to learn, apply, and share proven strategies as well as give you the insights on how to win online with social media paid advertising. And now, here's your hosts, Chris Baden and Sean Malone. A lot of people, including myself, have gone through this morning routine thing and like started it, did really good for like two or three weeks, and then we fell off the books. Like what happened, right? Well, tonight, I'm so excited because the genius of the week, Amanda Weller, is going to come out and she's going to share four things to never do in your morning routine. I'm super excited about this. Four things not to do in a morning routine because everyone talks about what to do. These are the things not to do. And if you avoid those things, you'll probably have a lot more success. success. <laughs> so, Amanda, please, if you could, come on out. Welcome to the show. Hey, guys. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the morning routine because it's something that I've been working through too and that I've failed at multiple times. Um, The biggest thing that they say about having a morning routine is it's your best opportunity to feel confident and productive each day. It gets you an opportunity to set up and take control of your day and not let your day control you. But there are four things that you shouldn't do in that morning routine, you know, that'll help you be a little bit more successful. So the first one is going to be the big hitter. Do not check social media for the first hour of the day. Just don't do it. It's bad. There's so many bad things that come from doing that. The first one is that it triggers what they call the comparison frame. So like you're scrolling through Facebook and you're like, oh, this person has this, this person got married, this person has this many followers, whatever. Like you start first thing in the morning comparing yourself to how everyone else is doing, which obviously is not good. Um, And it also fires off what they call novelty. And that makes your brain happy. So like novelty is seeing new things. And when you're scrolling, obviously you keep seeing new thing after new thing after new thing, and you're going to get distracted. And that's why you end up in like that dead cycle of like, I just keep scrolling and I don't realize I lost 30 minutes. So by doing checking social media first thing in the morning, you're going to forget your day. You're going to forget your goals, whatever you had going on, you're going to be stuck scrolling through whatever's going on in your social media. So one of the examples, I've been geeking out on uh, Brendan Bouchard YouTube videos, (laughs) and this is one of the ones he did a video on this, Um, and one of the examples he gave is to think about having a middle school kid, they wake up every day, and the first thing that you tell them to do is start comparing yourself to everyone in school. Instead of focusing on like what you want to do or what you've got going on, compare yourself to where every, every other kid is at. Like you would never tell a middle school kid to do that. They have enough trouble as it is. That's the same thing that you're doing to yourself first thing in the morning, you know, when you start scrolling through social media. And it trains your brain to be rewarded by comparison and distraction, which is obviously not good. So first thing in the morning, you're checking out of your own life and you're checking into everybody else's life. So the tip for that one is to put your phone in a completely different room, not by your bed, not something that you can just grab when you get up in the morning and start scrolling through. So that's number one. Number two is not very similar. Don't check your emails and don't check your text messages because those are all other people's needs and lives and things that they've going on, things that they want from you. So again, you're checking out of your own life and you're checking into what other people want you to do. So it gets you reacting to other people and it trains you to be a follower rather than to lead your own life. Um, So, and they did a study of high performers Let's say if you check your email and your text messages in that first 60 minutes of every day, over a week's time, you lose 30% productivity because you're just like, same thing with social media scrolling through, you're starting to respond to everyone else instead of focusing on your own goals for the day. It's the same thing like the middle school kid example. They say you're checking in, telling the kid, you know, in middle school, instead of focusing on your own stuff in the morning, check in with what everybody else wants you to do. 
And a lot of people will say, I think this goes along with both of them, is that they don't have, enough, I know I said it, <laughs> enough time for a morning routine. And one of the things that Brendan Bruchard said in his video is it's not that you don't have time, it's just that you're spending the time that you do have really poorly because you're looking at social media, you're checking emails, you're responding to other people. Um, and then the third one, the worst thing you can do is start your day with no intention. So you're just, you know, you get up, you go through the motions, you go to work, you don't think about your day, you don't plan ahead. Everybody and anyone can do that. Setting up yourself with intention for the day makes all the difference. So instead you want to think about the major things that need to happen for that day, whatever's going on in your day. And whether you meditate it or just think about it, walk yourself mentally through your day and how things are going to happen and ask yourself questions like how can I go into this meeting with excellence? What can I bring to the table? Um, how can I contribute uniquely to my day? So setting yourself up first thing in the morning with a pure intention for the day, knowing what you're walking into instead of just like taking things as they come, that'll make a big difference for you and it'll help keep you motivated throughout the day. And then the last one is don't hit the snooze button. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so this one wasn't in Brendan's video, but like I did research and this kept coming up every single time. And I have been prone to doing this, but it's really bad. <laughs> so most snooze buttons, I know mine, last like seven minutes. And that is not enough time for your body to go through a full sleep cycle. So you fall back asleep after your alarm goes off and then it wakes you up again seven minutes later and you're in part of most likely your deepest sleep and that's the hardest for you to wake up out of. So your alarm jolts you back to wakefulness after you're in sleep cycles and you end up in what they call sleep inertia, which is like your grogginess, your memory and judgment is lapsed, your reaction time is poor, and it says it can take up to four hours for that to improve once you've you know gone through your day. Um, so hitting the snooze button is a very bad thing. As soon as it goes off, get up. And what they say for that is, and I'm sure you heard it before, is put your alarm somewhere away that you can't just reach it you know, when you are in your bed. Uh, so those are your four things. And basically the, the sum of it all is if you set yourself up for successful routine for the day, give yourself that head start. You're setting yourself up to win your day. If you win one day, you win the next day. And then if you win the next day, you can win your week, you can win the month, you know, so. That's what I've got. Thanks for listening to Digital Genius Radio. We'd love it if you could share our podcast with three others that you think could get some value from it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And remember, hit that notifications button so we can alert you for each new episode that comes out. You're on your way. You've gained knowledge and you've gotten smarter. You're becoming a certified digital genius. To continue on the right path, go to challenge.digitalgeniusradio.com and prove you have what it takes. Again, that's challenge.digitalgeniusradio.com. Enter your name and email and get started becoming a master of your own destiny.